Hello everyone. From the previous video I explained a little bit about uh, Neutrino.js project. So in this video I will show you how you can create uh, applications using Neutrino.js. I mentioned that uh, there are two ways to develop uh, Neutrino.js applications. First thing is that you can uh, directly use uh, SDK from releases. Another thing is uh, using new CLI. So you can download uh, Neutrino.js SDK uh, using this link. I already downloaded SDK and extracted uh, like this. I will open up uh, this project uh, using uh, VS Code and show you a little bit about uh, the structure of the project and uh, what are the files we are having. If you check the root, we have a set of uh, binaries each for each platform. This one uh, can be executed in Linux and this one uh, can be executed in Mac OS and this one in uh, Windows as well. So Windows users uh, can uh, double click this one and uh, open uh, Neutrino.js application and uh, so on for each platform. Here we have two folders, app and storage app uh, consists of uh, application source you have main html file which will have the main ui of the application and uh, set of uh, js files here neutrino.js it is containing all the client source it is a minified uh, file and we have app.js and app.css as well app.js is having uh, your application uh, logic which is written in js basically you have neutrino.init a bootstrap method here and you have main css file here you can define the styling of your application here here you have settings.json it is having the application configuration like uh, application port and uh, application mood there are a set of uh, moods uh, of uh, Neutrino.js uh, those things you can uh, check uh, from the Neutrino.js documentation and you have app name here and uh, if you are running uh, Neutrino.js on window uh, means window mood you have a set of configuration uh, for window also full screen mood uh, always on top mood and icon file like that there are a set of things that can be configured uh, for window mode. So let, uh, let's check uh, how you can run the application. Since I am in uh, Ubuntu platform, uh, means in uh, Linux, I can just double click uh, this binary and open the application. So that's about uh, using uh, SDK directly. Thereafter we can check more things about uh, new CLI, how you can use new CLI to create new technologies applications. First of all you need to install uh, new CLI into your computer. To install uh, new CLI you need to have node than npm. Then uh, you can enter this command to ent uh, like install uh, new CLI this will create a global command new NEU everywhere you can enter this command to work with neutral energies related applications in this video I am going to create simple ap application in here using new CLI I can enter new create an application name I'm going to use hello world here and thereafter you can mention the template you are going to use. There are several templates uh, like TypeScript template, the Kotlin template and JS template and even React template is there. And we are in the progress of creating a set of other templates as well, view template and angular template. I can mention the template name here. I'm going to use uh, type script template. TS is the name of that.
it will basically download the template to this directory hello world directory and it is going to fetch latest binaries from releases new technologies binaries I can check this folder then we can see the binaries are there and uh, set of source files are there let's check more about those things same as before I am going to open the project using Visual Studio Code to check the structure of the project here you have src inside the src there are a set of ts files and css files those ts files can uh, contain your logic you can modify and add new files and add new class whatever the things you can do with ts you can do here and you have multiple css files once you build the application those things will be transpiled and added to this folder which I mentioned earlier I'm going to do a small modification here I will go to this one I'm going to do a small modification to how to show how those things are working I am going to alert uh, one of uh, global variables. We have nil version which will return the current neutrino JS version. So I saved the file. I am going to use one command uh, from new. that one is new build this one will retranspile all the modifications to that uh, app folder so basically that is uh, my modification that alert it is applied to app now I can just use a new run to run my application So here we can see the modification I did. It is very easy to use the uh, type script uh, with new CL to create new Trilogy's application. So thereafter I will uh, give more information about uh, some other com uh, commands we are having. If you enter just new we are having other set of commands which can be used to develop application we have new update if we enter new update if there is uh, latest uh, version latest neutral js version then uh, the one you are using it is going to update the binaries thereafter we are having uh, new release if you enter new release it is going to make a release it will create this dist uh, folder and it is going to create uh, zip final zip file uh, of your application which can be like uh, released uh, as an application release uh, to internet or whatever the place you can uh, let others to download your application then uh, so that's the end of uh, my video I showed you how you can uh, create application directly using release uh, the SDK from release and uh, using new CLI in uh, next video I'm going to show you uh, some uh, details about uh, Neutrino JS API which is having native access uh, to file system likewise let's see uh, more in next video see you